Welcome to video four, measuring lines and wall areas. So on our foundation, um, we're gonna measure some rising walls. Um, in the rising wall detail here, and this is the external wall detail, we've got a 675 millimeter high three block rising blockwork wall on the inner leaf. We've got two blocks, which is 450 millimeters. Um, on the outer leaf with a <coughs> tree brick 225 millimeter high plinth. I can actually click on my foundations two drawing which I'd scaled at once to 20 and I can check those measurements if need be. So just to check there on the plinth at 225 um, and if I check those dimensions they would be <coughs> correct. So I'm just going to go back to my drawing which has been scaled at one to 100 and I'm gonna set up some new dimension groups. I'm gonna set up or add a dimension group called 100 millimeter block work rising wall. <clears throat> I'm gonna put it in the standard folder, but I'm gonna change the subfolder to rising. And I'm gonna measure it as a length. Um, I'll get to the default display. I'm just gonna leave that for the moment. Um, and my default height I'm going to have at, um, it was 0.675, 675 millimeters. And I leave it as lime green and I'll click insert. So there we have my rising wall down there, 100 millimeters. I'm gonna add another one. This one is 100 millimeters brickwork rising wall. And Keep it in the standard folder, measure as a length. Um, <clears throat> default height of my brickwork is 225 millimeters, um, or 0.225 of a, mil of a meter, and I'll change the color, royal blue, click insert. Doesn't really matter what color you use. Uh, maybe for the three walls, use three different colors. And my last one is 215 millimeters, block work rising wall again length measure and default height for my two and five walls are six seven five again give it a, maybe a different color so let's say gold so there we have three different dimensions 100 millimeter block work, 100 millimeter brick work, and two and five block work. So starting with the 100 millimeter block work rising wall, just click it. I'm gonna measure in point mode. I always find it a little bit easier to measure in point mode when I'm measuring the lengths of lines, um, mainly because if I click lines and there's an overlap, I might get a double measure of a particular wall length. So it makes it a little bit easier. Um, I'm gonna start with the internal ones first because they are 675 millimeters. Um, and I'm gonna measure along one of the edges here. Let's just make sure it's correct. Um, and then maybe from the top here down. The reason I'm picking outside edges and inside edges is because I don't wanna double measure that corner. Um, so essentially I'm just making sure I register the length of the wall. And then I could start here because that line will stop the wall just right here, so starting again here, and this is where the 100 millimeter wall stops as such, before the two and five wall begins, on the inside face, um, and then we've got some corner areas here. To zoom in, if there's no exact point to grab, and that is essentially my <coughs> internal walls, although I have a few more points here to select. So click, 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 click. And then moving to my final couple of corners. See, I stopped quite a little bit short there. I'm going to drag that down. So, <clears throat> they're essentially my 100 millimeter block work walls at 275 millimeters high. 
there really are the internal wall there I can see it on or the internal leaf I can see it on the detail um, that's essentially it I didn't register these walls because they're 215 millimeters thick if I wanted to see it in 3d there they are essentially so I've registered those as rising walls so I have 48 meters um, and a wall area of 32 um, meters squared and just over 32 meters squared um, but I also want to register my outer leaf which is for two blocks there 450 millimeters high so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to double click into the dimension again and I'm going to change my default height from 0.675 to 0.45 I'm going to select update and would I like to apply the new dimension to all dimensions that use the default height I don't want to do that um, because that will change all my heights I just want to select no here so any other dimensions I measure from this point on will be at the 0.45 whereas the previous dimensions which I'm which I measured were at 0.675 and I'll keep those um, so we'll go, I'm going to go ahead and measure the outer leaf here along the inside face just registering the length of the wall rather than actually measuring a particular side of the face I just want to measure the length and because I'm using point mode I'm kind of selecting what I re what I think the length of that wall is so that particular wall stops there and I can see that that one begins um, on the side there so <clears throat> that works um, <clears throat> what I might just do is just check that check those dimensions um, if I don't see the height column in here I can click the little snowflake in the top left hand corner and check the height box okay so moving from dimension groups to dimensions I want to see my full dimensions um, and I can click on the different lines here um, to select them in the window just to see what line is what and I can see my last number of measurements there my four lines on the outside face of that outer leaf <coughs> or the outer leaf itself is 0.45 okay so then my next dimension is a hundred millimeter brickwork rising wall and that's the three bricks on top of that two blocks um, I've essentially already measured those dimensions it's the outer leaf um, and I measured in the previous um, dimension group so I'm just going to show you a way of copying just this, those select dimensions into that new dimension group. So I'm going to click back on the 106 meters, which essentially is the total length of my 100 millimeter block work. I'm going to click dimensions, and those last four dimensions there, <coughs> which are 450 millimeters or 0.45 in meters, I'm going to select them. So hold down control and click the four dimensions. Then I'm going to right click, I'm going to say copy dimensions and I'm going to drop it in the 100 millimeter brickwork rising wall. So a little drop down, it looks like it's defaulted on that anyway and I'm going to click OK. So I've selected from my dimensions tab those four dimensions, they're the four dimensions I'm going to use. And now click back in my dimension groups, see my four dimensions in there, click dimensions as 14.55, 14.55, 14.75, and all at a height of 0.225. Um, the height changed because if I double click in here, I had put a default height in there. So I copied them as 0.45, but the program recognizes that because I have a default height in there, it should change them. If it doesn't, you want to go back in and control click, right click, change height. Uh, and make that change there if if that uh, change wasn't made already. So that's my 100 millimeter brickwork rising wall. What I might just do in terms of displaying that in 3D, I'm going to double click back into it again. I'm going to change the default offset to 0.45. The reason I'm doing that is the reason I'm doing that is essentially because these three bricks are already on um, are built off these um, two blocks. So you'll see when I click the 3D display for that dimension and show it with the 100 meter block rising wall, it will show the 
blue dimension, which is essentially the brickwork, on the um, green dimension, which is the block work, rather than overlaying it. It won't really make a difference in terms of the quantity, but it's just kind of good for the display. So you'll see that they're both at the same height, the block work and then the brickwork above it. And then obviously on the other side of that leaf, um, the inner leaf, it's at the same height, 675. So my last dimension here, just clicking it, is the 2 and 5 rising walls. So just to capture those walls, um, I've got the external walls, which I can click, starting uh, here. Okay, so that's registering those walls. Um, select, zoom in to get this inner leaf to about, I suppose, about here. And then corner to corner. My last wall is essentially from here to, um, it's actually up to this point. Okay, so just to see maybe all those walls together, <clears throat> just to make sure I had the default height in there at 0.675 I have, cancel that. Show all the walls together or all the dimension groups together by clicking control hold or control click and view in 3D. So essentially there is my rising walls. Now they're displayed as <coughs> meters um, and I can just make sure that there is connections and I've got it pretty much, if I click the 3D view, um, I can see that that one stops there, that one begins there. So I just wanna make sure that when I hover over or when I click those three dimensions together, they're pretty much measuring all the rising walls or counting for all the rising walls on that plan. And they are in fact, um, they are measuring as are displaying as meter uh, lengths, but if I double click in and change the default display, I can't change the measurement type. I had measured them as meters, but I'm just gonna change it to wall area, update. Double click, default display, change to wall area. Okay, so 58 meters squared of 100 meter block work rising wall, both at a couple of different heights. The internal leaf is 675 millimeters high and the outer leaf is 450 millimeters high. Um, the 100 meter brick rising wall, 13 meters squared, that's just the outer leaf. Um, just above the 450 millimeter block work wall, we've got a you know, 225 uh, millimeter high brickwork plinth. And then we've got, um, this corner inner leaf um, of the building is 215 as well as the uh, internal block walls. I'm going to change the folder structure here on the left hand side. So my dimension groups at the moment are in a standard folder with some subfolders. Um, what I'm gonna do is set up an element 19 folder. So to do that, um, I'm gonna start with ground floor area. I'm gonna leave GFA in um, the standard folder. So I'm gonna select or double click the ground floor area. And I'm just gonna type in element 19 sub structure and click update. Now that one dimension has gone into an element 19, element 19 substructure. I'm going to select, control, click. The next three items there, right click change folder and I'm going to drop down and select that standard or select that substructure. Click OK. So now we have those four items in our substructure folder. 
I'm going to click maybe my first concrete item, double click the pads concrete, and in front of concrete, I just need to change that to 19 substructure. So now I'll have that as the parent folder, this uh, concrete as the subfolder, and then my first item has gone in there as a subfolder in substructure. Um, double click strip concrete, um, and it'll be available for me substructure concrete there click update I'm going to do this um, for all my items so now I have two folders 19 substructure um, with everything I had in standard other than the GFA um, relocated to substructure <coughs> I might also put this topsoil into excavation so if I double click that um, and I will select 19 and that one has gone into excavation. So we've got pads, um, strip footings, and topsoil in there. And that essentially is um, <coughs> all my items that may be applicable in terms of dimensions to my substructure um, element, which I'll use in my workbook um, in a subsequent um, video tutorial. Um, I'm just gonna measure one more item. Um, clicking dimensions, add dimension group. I'm gonna measure the CC center line of the cavity wall. Okay, um, I'm going to measure it as a length and I'm going to just put it in the substructure folder. So I'll just go in as a dimension group under the parent folder. Um, I'm not going to give it a default height, um, I might change the color to purple and I'm going to click insert. So I've got this line measurement now. Um, <clears throat> what I want to do is in, in this particular dimension, I'm going to change the point mode and I'm going to turn off the geometry. The reason I'm going to do that is because I want to select, um, although I can do it if I hover or if I zoom in enough, um, <clears throat> but I don't want it to click on a point. So I'm going to turn off the geometry. Now, as I'm going through my measurement, um, usually when I'm making line measurements, I click on the end start point and I click on the end point. And then I might, then if I was measuring the center line, come over the other side and then click on the start point and then come back and click. So in that particular dimension, I would have two dimensions. I'd have my first dimension and my second dimension, which I measured. I'm just gonna right click, clear all those dimensions and I'm gonna show you a way of kind of linking lines. So I'm gonna start again, top left hand corner, where I think the center along that diagonal is, click. Now as I'm measuring here, I'm gonna hold down control on my keyboard. So find the kind of center again. Um, what this does is I'm, I'm still holding control down, it's linking my lines and it's gonna create one dimension rather than have to specifically measure um, two lines or three lines or four lines and I'm going to come back on my first measurement I'm still holding control still holding control and then click now what I've got there essentially is um, a cavity wall length of 57.77 and if I click dimensions I'll only have one dimension I won't have four dimensions for four sides because I held down that control and I clicked around that is quite handy for example if I want to link a couple of different lines say for example holding down control click 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 so you'll notice there if i hover over that dimension it's 10.67 meters but it's got three sections but it's combining it as a length so i'm going to right click i'm just going to delete that mention because that's not essentially what i'm looking for i'm looking for my center line which is 58 meters so I'm just going to leave it there with this tutorial. Thanks very much.